falls, especially in the elderly, are orthopedic surgeons' main focus points. As we see a lot of patients come into the emergency department, unfortunately, after a fall, with a broken hip or a broken tibia. And so, you know, maximizing your ability to avoid these falls is, is really essential. Probably there's three main prongs to this approach. The first is just an analysis of your house. So your daily living, your paths of walking around your house, you really want to have someone take a critical eye for if any rugs are sticking out, if any furniture could potentially get in the way. A lot of these falls happen late at night, usually getting up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, and either you have low blood pressure incident where you fall down, or you're just still a little hazy from sleeping and you tend to fall. I like to tell my patients, you know, if you get up, even if you really have to go try and sit on the edge of the bed for a few seconds or minutes, just allow your nerves to kind of compensate. The other thing I'd say is really your, what we call your proprioception. So that's how your brain interacts with your muscles to tell your control centers where your body is in space. And the more your brain is in tune with where your body is in space, the more you're going to prevent falls. There's different activities that can help you stay strong in your lower extremities and your core and kind of help prevent falls. Lastly, if your parents are getting older and you're starting to notice them falling a little bit, there's a few things that you can do. You know, we're all our worst patients. You tend to downplay the symptoms in yourself. Family members come in and they say, hey doc, my dad has fallen a few times or he's a little bit more unsteady on his feet. This really falls on the family members to kind of quarterback these situations and get ahead of it so we're not looking at multiple falls and multiple increased risks for fractures. Um, if you start to notice your family members becoming a little bit more unsteady or even falling once, I think that's usually time to start setting up your primary care appointments to look at the medications, to get an analysis of the house, to make sure there's no routes within the house that increase the risk for falls, and developing a little bit more core and lower body strength through, through a gym or physical therapy to reduce these risks.